All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to Domination Marine Channel. Back down on the farm, taking a look at our car lot. Just looking around, it is looking good. I am liking it. Things are going really well. It is April, as you guys know. Um, got some planting to do. Got to take care of some corn. What else we got to do today? What else we got to do in this lovely April day? It looks like, well, corn. And that's all we're really going to do for April. Everything else looks like it's pretty much self-sustaining at the moment. And then our next big thing will be in July when we get our wheat. No, it'll be in June. So April's going to be corn, May's going to be just carrying through, and then June's going to be getting corn. So it looks like a pretty good, good relaxed few uh, days for us. Kind of liking it. <clears throat> kind of liking it. Nice and good paced, good fun, all that good stuff, right? I am a little sorry that the trees haven't grown yet. Uh, I don't know why they haven't, because we planted these many months ago. And I was hoping they'd get a little bit bigger by now, but obviously they haven't. We're going to need these for pallets, so they really got to do something. So what we got to do today is we got to get a planter. Um, I, I think it's seeds, right? It's either a seed or a planter. I, I think it's different. Let's take, let's take a look at our thing. This will tell us. This will tell us what we need to know. We'll go into corn. We'll see what we need for corn. Oh, it doesn't say. It doesn't say. Um, is corn a green? I don't think corn is a green. I think corn is the other stuff. So let's see. I don't know what it would be under. Maybe under hay? Probably not. Corn's not a hay. I thought that maybe the byproduct, you know. Um, hmm, that's an interesting question. Maybe we can go into uh, corn on here. Corn technology, no, that's cotton. I need corn. It's obviously gonna be a harvester for harvesting, but I mean before that. Hmm, I don't know what we need to make corn. That's, that's interesting. We also gotta take all of our potatoes out of the um, silo because we got a bunch of potatoes in there and we're gonna go put them in the uh, in the uh, martini or in the uh, schnapps factory because we got schnapps let's go take a look down and see how the uh, ooh, there's honey a lot of honey delicious delicious honey let's go see how the uh, potato field is doing got a lot of stuff to go deliver that's always good news right plenty of stuff going through that means we'll have coffee and we'll have Cigarettes ready for us, which is nice. It means we'll have plenty of money come through. Because right now we're down to fifteen thousand dollars, just under fifteen thousand. That's not a lot. Uh, oh, the potatoes are growing. Look at this. Look at this. Wow, that's nice. The potatoes are really coming along. I'm glad that worked out for us because that was a lot of work to do all these potatoes. Very nice. And let's see, what was under the potatoes here? Yeah, it's still planting season. We could probably go check on the uh, grapes, see if any of the grapes grew. Because we put all those vines out. It's not a bad idea. And then we're going to have to get on. It's not a big corn field. It's just the field over here that we uh, expanded a little bit. It's this field here. It's already limed. It's fertilized. So this would be a good little field for corn. But we'll do that in just a second. Let's go check on our... Go check on our, um, if I can speak, our grapes. No, let's do that later. I, I kind of want to get on this corn. Let's get on our great big awesome tractor and go get ourselves some corn technology. Hey, Calypso, welcome back. You're number one today, Calypso. Calypso, you're number one. Look at you. Good job. Calypso's number one. So all these fields are looking really good. I can't wait till we can start harvesting. It's going to be a lot of work, though, because there's a lot of stuff to harvest. Oh, here's our sugar. Our sugar's growing. This wasn't like this yesterday. Look at our sugar cane. Look at our sugar cane. We're going to have a lot of sugar. That's pretty cool. Got a whole crap load of sugar. I'm liking that. Socks, what are you doing? Why is your tail all puffed up? You look silly with your tail all puffed up. You're a little skinny cat with a great big fluffy tail. 
That is cute. What are you doing? Why why you why you fluff your tail up? <laughs> oh, it's adorable. Like she is she's skinny and she's like little, but her tail is like a giant humongous like a uh, like if you think of like a cat, cotton candy on a stick looks like that's what her tail looks like what I have for dinner today I had a great big bowl of chicken fried rice with like a quarter of a chicken breast cut up into squares it was just a little bit of chicken I just wanted to give it more flavor so the rice was good um, there was like little peas in it little carrots in it and then chicken broth is what I fried it in so the rice was actually really good oh jerk he just hit me from behind Thanks. Just ran right in. You guys saw that? No respect at all. So I don't know what I need to plant corn. I've never planted corn before. This would be our first time. You'd think in a farming simulator you'd have planted corn by now, right? Sometime in the last 600 plus hours I played this game. But let's find out. There's the helicopter. So let's check out, um, let's see what we can buy first. Maybe it'll be a, a big pallet of it. Seeds, wheat, oat, pig food, total ration mix, none of this. Any big bags? Seeds, lime, wheat, oat, pig food, none of this. Pallets? I mean, maybe corn is seeds. Maybe they consider it corn seeds. Yeah, maybe that's it. Then maybe that is what it is. So let's go into Cedars. You forgot all about the stream today. Well, I'm glad you made it, Calypso. So far, you're the only one here. Nobody's keeping me company. I think every day we're getting a little bit less. Maybe our, maybe the channel's dying. Maybe it's dying. Um, Cedar. Oh, this will tell me. I can look on here. It is a planter, not a cedar. Okay, so I was right to guess that. Right, so we don't need nothing big. I see one for 15 because it's just a little field. It's one for eight. Oh, that's a that's an extender. We'll just get this little one right here. This is fine. And uh, we got to lease it, of course, because we don't have the money for it. What is this? Forty-nine thousand. Yeah, these are all too expensive. I can't I can't get none of those. How much is it to lease this? It's two thousand five hundred? They're probably late? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Um, let's lease this one right here. This will be fine. Alright, and I think we need to get seeds, right? Um they turned my last remember we had seeds before, but they turned all my seeds into lime. If you guys are watching, that's what happened. So let's buy a bag of seeds just in case. Um, seeds. We'll buy that. No. I want to get the uh, pallet of seeds. Yeah, that's much more. Many more seeds in this one. Alright, good. So this should be all that we need for this. We can get our corn going. It's going to be a nice chill stream today. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Just planting corn, chilling, maybe transporting some potatoes. Uh, let's fill this up. And it is on corn right now. Oh, it's full already. It's already full, so let's go ahead and take this down to the farm also. This is just a little tiny cedar. It don't hold nothing. So hopefully it'll stay up here. I don't know. We'll find out. I wonder if Zoomy is doing a stream. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. That's actually been hurting us a little bit, but it is what it is. I know that's a risk I take when I promote other streamers. Um, every time I promote somebody, it happens to uh, my my regulars go to that stream, and then I lose people. <laughs> it happens a lot. Remember Golden Penguin? Golden Penguin used to be in my stream every day, and then I showed him um, that one channel. And then he left, and he goes and donates. He donates a lot of money there. He donates like twenty, thirty dollars like every week or so there, and he never, he, he never, barely ever comes back to my channel. I miss him. I don't care about the donations, but you know he was a good person. This is probably like the fourth or fifth time I've promoted somebody and I lost like a regular for it. 
It's too bad. Now, I don't blame Izumi, though. I mean, she doesn't try to take my people. She promotes me. She's good. She's awesome people. It's just a risk you got to do when you promote people. I really shouldn't do it because I'm not big enough streamer to be promoting someone else. And then when I lose people, I get even smaller. But, um, I don't know. I like helping other people out, even if it hurts me. It's just something I do. The only problem with the Zumi stream is she used to never stream at the same time I streamed. But now she does. So that was like a oof moment, you know? I mean, I don't blame her. You know, it's a time she likes to stream, then, you know, she just stream whenever she wants. Just, just unfortunate how it turns out. Just how it goes. I think my biggest problem with that, though, is I like to prom promote people. And I promoted a few people. Like, I promoted my buddy any wheels before, and his channel never grew. But I think a lot of times I promote female gamers. And female gamers are really popular. And so they're more entertaining to watch than I am. So, it would, like, you watch Izumi's channel, and she's funny, and she's engaging, and you want to hang out with her. She's just a nice person. Like, she deserves the attention. So I, I kind of knew in the back of my head, like, I'm glad she doesn't stream at the same time I stream, because I am definitely going to lose people to her. Well, then she started streaming at my time, and I'm like, oh, no. But, I mean, it is what it is. You're happy for her, and she's getting more viewers. Yeah, she's going to grow. She's going to get real popular. She deserves it. She deserves it. I got no hate for that. Only respect. I'm happy for her. Just gotta, you know, be aware of the reality of what happens when I'm a small male streamer promoting female streamers. I'm gonna lose people. <laughs> Just the way it goes. Alright, let's get some of this corn planted. It feels kind of like, not natural, but it feels kind of good to be a, a corn farmer, doesn't it? It just, when I think of farming, I think of corn. I don't know why, it just, it just seems like that's a natural go-to. Now, is this working? Yeah, I think it is. Now, I also got to find out, too, if I have to roll corn. I don't think I have to roll it. I just don't know for sure. I believe you don't have to. Let's see what it says. When I look at it. Now it says needs rolling. Oh, maybe I do have to roll it. I might have to roll it. I know you have to roll sunflowers. I don't know if you have to roll corn. That's a good question. How you been today, Calypso? You been taking care of yourself? Been having a better day? I know it's been rough on you lately. I hope you're having a better day and things are going well for you. I want good things to happen for Calypso. I hope, uh, Meat Sack and Snipes, Grayson, I hope everybody pops in. What is today? It's Thursday, right? It's a regular day. People should be here. Oh yeah, we are going to have to roll it. I can tell. Just by the way it looks, those straight lines like that. Those, those, you got to roll those. Okay. I don't know why the uh, tractor is backing up. Let's go ahead and fix this. It might be too much of a hill right there for it to comfortably go up and down. Which is fine because I can just adjust it like this. And then like this. It's been mostly an eh day. Those happen. Those do happen, I understand. And then we'll just go up this way. Feels good to plant the corn. I don't know, it just, it just feels good. Hold on, do I, am I missing? Hold on, I think I missed. I think I missed a little bit there. It looks like I missed just a little bit. Let's get back on track here. Right here, maybe? I think I got it. It's been a day for me, too. 
it's just kind of uh, kind of sad for me because I really really want to go work on my eggs. I want to get them back on the uh, uh, on the uh, lathe, but because the weather's so cold, like yesterday, the last two days ago it was like 45 degrees, so it's still too cold to do it. But I was trying it anyway, but it was cold. And then yesterday was 52 degrees, which is warmer, but still too cold to do it. But I spent a couple hours doing it anyway. And the whole time I'm like, man, just just get a little bit warmer out, just a little bit warmer. So I was hoping today would get warmer, but then it's 31 degrees today. So the weather just took a colder turn, and I'm like, ugh, I want to get warm. I want to work on my eggs. I got so many ideas. <laughs> and I actually have a new mold coming in the mail in the next couple days because I've been using a plastic cup mold, and the plastic cup gives me a good shape for it. But uh, the resin heats up so much, it melts the cup. So that makes it a little bit difficult for me. It's not round anymore. So I, I actually uh, bought a round mold, a cup-shaped round mold, so that should save a lot of trouble, and I can make eggs a lot more efficiently now. So that'll be a really good thing for us when we start doing that. You posted the link? Thank you, Clip, so I appreciate it. Uh, I, I know 100% for sure when everybody posts the link in my channel, it always brings people. It always does, every single time. Because people either don't realize it, the notifications go, don't go out, people forget. There's lots of different reasons why. But thank you for posting that. It definitely helps out a lot. It'll have a direct effect on people being in the room. Now if only we could grow! If only we could get bigger! If only we could have a whole bunch of people every time I start to stream. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be awesome? Come in here, you got a whole bunch of people to talk to and hang out with. But luckily, lucky for me, Calypso's here. I'm not alone. Now, if I stream and no one shows up and I'm just by myself, then I might just go ahead and take the night off. <laughs> because I get really lonely. And if I'm streaming for hours and there's no people, then I'm like, man, I'm a loser. Nobody wants to watch me. I, I don't... Why am I recording? <laughs> but we're okay today. Like I said, I would still play the games even if I wasn't streaming because I really enjoy these games and I have a good time. Hey, Russ Jones, welcome back, buddy. Good to see you. Hey, hey, Cyan Cuber, there you are. Welcome back. Glad you can make it. You're playing Kata Zumi and her stream? Yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about. It sucks I gotta lose my, my streamers because of somebody I promoted. That sucks, but have fun. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you guys have a good time. Hey, Super Snipes, welcome back. I'm glad you made it, buddy. I just gotta quit promoting people because every time I promote somebody, I lose my streamers. It happens every single time. I was using um, Golden Penguin as my example the last time, and it just... I want to help people, but man, my stream really pays for it. And then I feel bad because then you guys have less people to talk to and less reasons to want to be here. But, you know... And then I watch other people grow and get popular, and I'm like, man, I'm glad I helped a little bit. I'm just a little tiny stream. I really, I don't, I can't afford to be promoting people and losing all my people. But like I said, she deserves it, so enjoy it. Have a good time. More power to her. She's a great person. She deserves all the love and attention you guys can give her. Hey, Meat Sack. Welcome back, buddy. Good to see you. Glad you can make it. Dom, I'm going to not be watching her stream while I play. I'm going to be watching yours, Dom. You're okay, Cyan Keeper. You're not doing nothing wrong. You should be able to watch and enjoy whoever you want. I'm not trying to say you did anything wrong at all, my friend. Uh, Azumi deserves the attention. She's very good, and she's a nice, honest, genuine person. I just I just hate the fact that she started streaming at the same time I streamed, because she never used to do that. And, I mean, it, it is what it is. I, just, I wish her all the best. Um, Calypso says, Snipes, hi Snipes, hi Meat. Snipes says, I won't go anywhere, Dom, don't worry. Thank you, Super Snipes, I appreciate that, buddy. Thank you. So today we're rolling corn, having a good time getting all the corn out. Oh, not rolling it, we're planting it. And then if we have enough time, we're going to roll it. I think today what I'm going to do, guys, is I think I'm going to do an hour and a half of farming and then an hour and a half of the medieval. Uh, do you guys like that idea, or do you guys want more of one or more of another? Because I'm doing both games every day now, and I'm just trying to find a good way to divide the time. If you guys like the medieval one more, I'll play more of that. If you guys like the farming one more, I'll play more of that. 
or if you just don't care, I'll just do half and a half for now. Let me know what let me know what you guys think. I like to I like to tailor my streams to make you guys more entertained. But the whole point of this farming stream anyway, guys, is it's it, this is just a laid back stream, just like what uh, Meat Sack says. It's just a laid back, relaxing stream where we can just farm. Some shenanigans happen, and we just can talk to each other and have a good community. You know, it's a good um, it's a good difference from all the other streamers who don't talk to their subs and they don't care when people are in the room. I mean, this is a place where you can go and get attention. I know you're there. I talk to you. I remember you, and you can actually be a part of the stream. You know, I'm, I post these videos, and thousands upon thousands of people watch the videos, and when they watch them, they see you talking. They see your name, so they're like. You know, hey, I've seen that name before. Well, they recognize you. If 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 13,000 people a day watch my videos, you're being seen by 13,000 people. That's pretty awesome. If you look at it that way. Uh, Sidekeeper says, Dom, at least you always have me. Thanks, Sidekeeper. I appreciate that a lot. I know you've been through a lot, so I, I appreciate all the support you can give. Snipe says, hey, Calypso. How are you, sweetie? Yeah, stick around for being bullied. Lol. Lol. <laughs> <laughs> Clipso says, Snipes is not allowed to leave. He must stay for clay business and to bully Dom with me. <laughs> you guys have fun with bullying Dom, don't you? <laughs> I'll tell you what, you guys always cheer me up. When you guys are here, it really brightens my day. Hey, Zumi, welcome back. How you doing today? Keep hearing how popular you're getting and how much you're go growing. Congratulations. I'm very happy for you. Clipso says, I'm okay. How are you, my little angel Snipes? Aw. Sidekeeper says, hi, Zumi. So this isn't a very big field, but we have to do multiple things to it, so this should be good. I'm glad I expanded this field, by the way, too. It's a little bit too small for what it was, and still it's a little small. But I really don't think we're going to need that much corn. So we have a lot of corn in one of our silos already anyway, so that's going to help out a lot. Russ, you're still here. Cool, Russ. Usually you pop in and leave. I'm glad you decided to hang out. Gonna be doing some corn. Getting some corn in here. Gonna make some alcohol with the corn. We all likes our alcohol. What uh, what alcohol do you make with corn anyway? Maybe that's something I should check out. <laughs> Maybe I should know what I'm gonna do with it. That might be a, a good idea. Where is it? Corn. Uh, the best part of being bullied, and I'm not going anywhere at hashtag Bully Dom Day, <laughs> is not Bully Dom Day. He says, hi, sign and clips. So hope you guys are well, and I'm good, Dom. I'm growing. I'm still the same old nobody, lol. Well, All right, let's see. Um, No, not for our teenies, not for the yeast. Where do we, do we need, yeah, okay, we need corn for bourbon. What else? Corn for bourbon. Is that all we need the corn for is bourbon, really? Wow, so that's that's why it's not a big field, because we just don't need a whole bunch of it. That's cool. That's actually pretty good. Clips says, Zumi, I know you like Bully Dom Day. Want to join me in Snipes? It is not Bully Dom Day. Snipes says, yes, it is. It is not. Um, it's actually a, um, a big surprise day for Dom. Um, I'm at the lowest weight, because I, I weighed myself this morning. I'm at the lowest weight I've been since high school. So this diet I'm working on, it's it's done amazing things for me. Um, I've, I've lost, even though I didn't really, I can't really afford to lose weight. My mom, oh my god, my mom got mad at me, what, two days ago? She got real mad at me, because she always gets on me, because I don't weigh very much anyway. And then she's like, why are you trying to lose more weight? And it's because I'm used to having like a lot of muscle. And muscle weighs a lot. And um, now I still have muscle, but I don't work out. I just, you know, live normal now. So my weight's going down. And uh, doing this diet, I'm trying to just be thinner. I'm trying to be healthier. I'm trying to get, you know, like when you work out, you use a lot of light weight to get bulk. Well, I do a lot of reps and a lot of, I do a lot of running. I do a lot of aerobic activity. I sweat a lot. And then I'm working out in my garage a lot, doing the work and stuff. So I'm losing weight that way. And uh, my mom, she got mad. She's like, I don't know. She's saying it's unhealthy if you keep losing too much weight. But I've lost um, 
46 pounds since November. So that's kind of crazy. I, I can't afford to lose 46 pounds, but I did. Uh, don't argue with me, Dom. And nice one, Dom. Always take care of yourself. Meat Stack says she likes you too. I need diet. She like she like you're too skinny. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm definitely getting too skinny. I know I am. So I'm, I'm eating a little bit more than usual. But it's because of, I do I run every day. So my running is definitely keeping my weight down. And I sweat a lot, so that's keeping my weight down. But the diet, is it's not really a diet. It's more of a metabolism control. Um, I eat five times a day. So it's not like I'm not eating. I, I legitimately eat five times a day. I, I eat a breakfast. I eat a lunch. I eat a snack. I eat a dinner. And I eat another snack. And, and honestly, I've been having a little extra snack sometimes the last few days. Because I bought this, um, they're, they're bags of nuts. They're little bags. And it's a snack box. And each bag, it has 100 calories in it. But it has cashews in it, it has almonds in it, it has raisins in it, and I don't know, um, I think that's all. Some, some of them have cranberries in them too. And it's just a little tiny pouch, like I'm, I'm talking little. Like if you looked at that, you're like, that's not big enough for a snack. But when I get hungry, I'll sneak and I'll eat one of those, and it's still not, not affecting my weight. I want to lose more weight. I'm not overweight, but still. Yeah, that's how I am, Calypso. Sometimes says my mom always tells me that I'm so beautiful. Your mom always tells he that I'm so beautiful. Well, tell your mom she's absolutely correct. You are a beautiful, beautiful person, Super Snipes. Clipso says you probably are Snipes. Yeah, so the whole point of my... I, I call it a diet. It's not really a diet. It's just, um, like I said, metabolism control. If you wake up and you eat breakfast, you know, you, you wake up and your metabolism gets started. It jumps immediately. And then I eat a lunch at noon, right? And then that keeps your metabolism going. Three hours later, I eat a snack. Keeps your metabolism going. It doesn't have time to stop. Dinner, three hours later, your metabolism is still going. It's nonstop. Three hours later, I have a snack. And again, metabolism doesn't stop. It keeps going. And then uh, this also helps too. Right before I go to bed, and yes, I know you guys are going to make jokes about peeing in the bed. I don't pee the bed. But I do drink a cup of water before bed every night. Sometimes not a whole cup, sometimes half a cup. But what that does is it keeps your metabolism going while you're sleeping. And there's no calories in water. So you fall asleep and your, your body keeps metabolizing while you're sleeping. And so I, I, use about, I lose about a pound a day. Sometimes a little bit less, sometimes a pound. I don't think I ever lose more than a pound. When I first started doing this, I was losing like at least a pound, pound and a half a day. But the more I've lost, the harder it is to lose weight because there's just nothing to lose. Why are you being so nice, Tom? I'm worried. I'm always nice. What are you talking about? You need to gain weight since I was born. I don't know what trying to gain weight is. But yeah, that's what I do. And I've been doing this since November. And in November, I was doing it with only healthy food. And that's when I was losing a lot. And I'm, I'm, I'm losing too much. So I stopped eating healthy food. Now I just eat whatever I want. Like uh, for dinner tonight, I had Chinese food. I had a big bowl of uh, chicken and rice. Well, it was just a little bit of chicken, but it was chicken fried rice with carrots and peas. And it was a, it was a big bowl. But I'm still going to wake up tomorrow and I will have lost weight. It's just the trick is to keep your metabolism going. If your metabolism thinks it's always time to burn, it's always time to burn. Everyone keeps telling me, like, if you really want to lose weight, you got to fast. Or my buddy Jake, uh, Storm, he only eats one meal a day. And uh, he's not losing a lot of weight. And I tell him, it's because your body says, oh, I only get one meal. Then I'm going to have to store all that food up as fat so that way I don't starve to death. Metabolism is like, feed me all the time and I'll keep burning all the time. Um, does that go for vodka? Looks the same. Nice, nice snipes. Clipsa says, and there's an app for workouts and doing weight and pick up your weight, waistline if you want, and height, gender, or non-gender. Then you pick up what you want and lose, and it tells you your weight is. Uh, Clipsa says, over or under or fine. Rush Jones says, so wake up, eat, then every three hours, four more times, and drink water before bed. Yep, that's what I do, Russ. Now, also, Russ, it is important that you do portion control, okay? Don't eat big meals. Like, for my, bre for my breakfast today, it was one cup of yogurt. That's not a lot of food, but it got my metabolism going. 
for lunch? Uh, what did I have for lunch? I gotta remember what I had for lunch. I don't remember. Oh, um, I had two White Castle cheeseburgers. Not fast food cheeseburgers. I got them from Walmart. So they're little things, but, you know, it was enough to fill my stomach up. And then for my snack... What did I have for I do Why can't I remember what I had? Um... What do I have? I'm looking in my trash right now to see what I have for my snack. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> um, for my snack, I had one of those. Um, it's like a, um, not exactly a granola bar. It's made from uh, Captain Crunch Berries, so it's not healthy by any means. It's Captain Crunch Berries, but it's a Captain Crunch Berry granola bar. Um, for dinner, I had the chicken fried rice, and for dinner or for late night snack tonight, I think I'm gonna have like 15 shrimp. It's a pretty big snack, but shrimp don't have many calories. So it's portion control, kind of. It's mainly just not a lot of calories. As long as no meal is over four, uh, 350 or 400 calories, you're fine. You can eat whatever you want. Eat chocolate if you want to eat chocolate. Tomorrow I'm going to have steak for dinner. So, I mean, and I'm still going to wake up the next day and have weight gone. <laughs> uh, Calypso says, I don't eat a lot once in a while. I'll not until dinner. I'm never hungry, but I do want food. Russ says, got it. Uh, Clipsa says, I eat mostly healthy, so fast food normally hurts my stomach, so now I can't eat anymore. Russ says, I'm going to get some water and go to bed in 15. All right. Um, I would suggest if you're not used to drinking water before bed, don't drink a lot at first because you don't want to wet the bed. Um, just, just get your body used to having water in your stomach before you go to bed. That way you'll be able to not have to worry about that. <laughs> That's not something I think you want to worry about. Calypso says, now I want food. Yeah, that's the whole trick, Calypso. Metabolism. Metabolism, metabolism. Let's see. No one wants to wet their bed? True. True. That is absolutely true. Oh, I knew what you meant. I knew what you meant. This uh, cornfield looks pretty good, doesn't it? Russ Jones says, I never went to bed even when I was a baby and a toddler. I did. I went to bed until I was like three, I think. <laughs> so embarrassing. I think I was three years old when I finally stopped. I remember um, we had a babysitter, and the babysitter used to put down plastic sheets for me. It was so embarrassing. It's harder to know that you had a memory from when you were three years old, but I remember being embarrassed. I remember it happened. It, it's a true story. You never went to bed even... Oh, yeah, I read that one. <laughs> I always read you guys' messages twice. You guys notice I do that? I double read messages a lot. It's just because of what I do is I'm not looking at the uh, chat. I'm looking at the game. I'm, you know, I'm farming. And then I look up at the chat, and I get so excited to see you guys talking. Because I'm, I'm an attention whore. I love the attention. And then I see you guys' message, and I'm like, Ooh, my friends want to talk to me. Yay! <laughs> Uh, Calypso says, the odd thing, and most young boys like their babysitters, they like their babysitters, and it was weird, I mean, crushing on when I saw it, oh, I never liked my babysitter, no way, yuck, 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 gross, I still remember her name, her name was Edie Spencer, I don't know how I remember that, I, I, until this moment, I haven't said or thought of her name in like 20 years, so that's weird that I just can pop that out of my head like that, Wow. And I used to have a crush on her daughter, because her daughter was, I, I guess, I don't know. Because she was my babysitter from like 3 to 8 or 3 to 9. And I remember being like 9 years old, and I, I, I liked her. Not when I was 3, of course, but when I was like 9. Oh, it wasn't Spencer either. 
Now that I think about it, it wasn't. Her name was Edie, but Spencer was somebody else. Spencer was one of my friends when I lived in uh, Florida. There was there was two girls actually, and I was crushing on one of them, and the other one was her sister. They were they weren't twins. They were like a month apart. No, like a year apart. And uh, their name was Spencer. One girl's name was Season Spencer, and her sister's name was Summer Spencer. So their names were Season and Summer. Those are pretty cool names. You call that embarrassing? I went to bed since I was in sixth grade. That's embarrassment. I even had to wear a diaper to school. Really, Cyan Cuber? Holy cow. I'm sorry, girl. That is really embarrassing. Eclipso says, whichever, or whenever I get hungry for bad food, I just try to eat healthy. And that stops my cravings. Um, I, I don't do that, Clipso. I just, I think life is too short. Eat what you want to eat. Just do it in moderation. Like, if you want to eat something bad, eat something bad. Just don't overdo it. Like, tomorrow, it's not really healthy to eat a lot of steak. Right? It's not. So I'm going to eat a normal size steak with a normal portion of mashed potatoes, and I'll be fine. If I want to eat chocolate for a snack, I'll eat chocolate for a snack. Like, I got a bag of Rolos. I'll eat some Rolos. I just won't overdo it, you know? I'll stop after like, you know, seven or eight rollers and be like, that was my snack. That's all it is, it's, it's just moderation. I think I cannot get to this because of that pole, but I'm gonna try. I didn't realize it was so, uh, like one row away from it being able to be finished. Like, I wouldn't have made the field this large if I would have missed it just by one row. I would have cut it short enough so this row didn't matter, but it's okay. I think I can just cut it like this, and that should work. So much cantaloupe in your fridge? Cantaloupe's good. Cantaloupe's tasty. I grow cantaloupe in my little garden. Cantaloupe's one of the melons that I grow. I grow cantaloupe, I grow watermelons, I grow cucumbers, and I grow pumpkins. It's not a very big garden, it's just like I would say uh, a 7 by 7 square, that's all it is. Maybe a maybe an eight by eight square, but I grow that in there. I took a medium sized container and I may finish it because it's so good. <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, I, I really don't think you can honestly get fat from eating fruit, though. Or not from fruit, from eating melons, though. I, I think I remember reading somewhere that it's a lot of sugar eating melons, but not bad sugar. I, I really don't think you can get fat just from eating fruits. I'm not sure. I, 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 I'm not an expert. But I'm, I'm pretty sure you can eat watermelon or cantaloupe all day. And it's just going to go through your body. It'll do bad things to your digest digestive tract, but it won't hurt you. This field looks nice, doesn't it? I think it's coming along. There's something about planting corn in this game. It's just relaxing. Look at this. It's soothing. Just getting down there into the earth like this and just looking at those nice clean rows. It's relaxing for me. Snipes, Meat Sack, you guys still here? You guys doing okay? You guys chilling like villains? Oh, I'm glad I got enough room. No, I don't. I actually don't have enough room. Let's change this. I'm going to have to edge. I was hoping... Nah, I, I wasn't hoping. I wasn't thinking. If I would have thought about when I did this right here, I wouldn't have put it so close to the fence because that does not look good right there, does it? It's okay. We'll just cut across right here. It's not going to matter in the long run. But that really wasn't smart to put the field right next to this fence. 
So let's edge it a little bit. It'll be edge lords. I can turn here. We'll have to go like three or four. Um, it says it took a medium sized container and may finish good. It's good. Zumi says, Can I get a. Oh, yeah, I'm back. Yeah, I'll give you one. Ready? Ooh, woo. There you go. Welcome back, Zumi. It's nice to see you. I'm glad I can have the support of such a soon to be major streamer. I hope you don't forget about me when you get all big, Kazumi, because it is just a matter of time. Don't forget about us little people that liked you when you first started, and will continue to like you always, because you're awesome. Uh, Russ Jones says, nothing over 400 calories. Yeah, Russ, nothing over 400 calories. Try and keep it under that. Which is good if you find the right foods, because um, shrimp, here's a good one for you. If you like shrimp, Shrimp, it takes 11 shrimp to make 70 calories. So you can actually eat a lot of shrimp. Or maybe it's 7. I think it's 7 shrimp to make 40 calories. I think that's what it was. My rule of thumb I try and do, Russ, is I try and make my, my snacks around 200 calories. And then my breakfast, lunch, and dinner, between two and 400 calories. But that's just, there's no reason for that. That's just what I think works. And all I, I've only been doing this since November, so I've just been kind of learning as I go and seeing what works for me or not. You hate shrimp? Oh, it's just, a, it's just an alternative. It's something to eat. Shrimp is okay. I've never had it much. Oh, I was reading chat and I just went off into the woods. Like some kind of weirdo. Rush shrimp is amazing. Yeah, I, I love seafood. Um, I eat seafood a lot. Um, Russ, one of the things I like about seafood, that uh, calorie-wise, is uh, most seafood is really good on calories. So if you like seafood, you can eat it. Now you got to be careful of stuff like uh, um, fried seafood. That's not good for you. I mean, but is what it is and then if, uh, a lot of seafood people put cheese on cheese has a lot of calories so if you're putting cheese on your seafood like um crab bites with cheese or crab cakes with cheese you gotta be careful about that because cheese will add up your calories really fast all uh, rest is okay snipe says yep i love my food plane clips is a snipes he's in the woods no i'm not i'm not i'm out i'm not in the woods i'm away no woods i'm in the field again Missed your opportunity. Too slow. Well, this field's almost done. This isn't too bad. So now that you, uh, there's actually some people in here, what is your guys' opinions on about the two games that I'm streaming? Do you guys like one game more than the other? Do you guys want me to spend more time on one game or the other? I know I've been asking this a lot lately because I'm trying to get a good system going with the games. My time period isn't changing. I'm still streaming from a three-hour block, basically. So this three-hour block is going to stay my streaming time. But... I want to know if you guys like the farming more, if you guys like the medieval one more, or if you guys want one more than the other. I'm still going to be playing both games because I like both games a lot. It's not going to change. Uh, Eclipse says, lol, I finished the container besides the one that looks odd. You like the medieval one better, Eclipso? The medieval one is a lot more fun. This one's a lot more relaxed. Superdive says, I have a lot more than 400 calories, Dom. What do you mean? Well, that's the thing, Super Snipes. If, if you're trying to lose weight on the method that I'm doing, you have to narrow it down. If you got something and it says one serving is 800 calories, well, then you got to cut that serving in half. You like both games? That's cool, Sign Cuber. 
Like, Snipes, you got to do what you got to do to do the plan. Because if you're not following the plan, then you're altering it, and you're not going to get the results that you want. Now, I'm pretty sure with this idea of eating five times a day to get your metabolism going, it's, it's okay if you splurge a little bit, but you got to think it's, it's your body. These are the results that you want, you know? If you're cheating, you're only cheating yourself because you're not giving yourself the, the, the weight in the body that you want because you're cheating. You're not cheating someone else, you're cheating yourself. And there's a lot of times you can find food that's the exact same thing by different companies with different calories. Like this, this um, for example, um, this, this um, container I had um, of yogurt I have, I just eat one, one, I had one for breakfast, right? Well, the calories on it was like 90 calories. I could find another yogurt in the yogurt aisle that has 150 calories, right? Or I can look and find one with 50 calories. So you got to find what you want that fits into what you want. Um, 3,900 calories on building muscles, so I need lots of energy. Well, no, no, Snipes, that's not how it works. Calories don't equal energy. If you're doing that, you need protein. And you can have low-calorie, high-protein. Uh, Calypso says, one serving 800 calories. Oh, my God. What would that food even be? I never eat things more than 400 calories. I try to keep it at 200 or 100. Um, actually, there's a lot of stuff, Calypso, that has 800 calories. If you guys look, I did this when I first started doing this diet. I went to um, look at fast food menus, and I went to a McDonald's menu, and I'm not kidding. Almost everything on there is like 2,000 or more calories per item. Like, it's ridiculous. Uh, bro, I'm literally playing zombies with one hand. Dude, I can't die. <laughs> Sign Cuber, you are a legend. Legendary zombie slayer. I like it. I like it a lot. So, you guys, because I'm doing this diet, it's something that's happening in my life and I'm interested in and I'm actually learning a lot about it and I've been doing it since November. If you guys want to talk about it or ask questions or have opinions about it, share. Feel free. I'm not going to get tired of talking about it. Um, if you guys want advice, just ask. And if you want to ask every day, ask every day. I'll, I'll give you guys my advice. you got to understand, though, I'm not a dietitian. I don't know what I'm talking about, okay? I'm only telling you what works for me and, and why it works for me. I'm not saying it's going to work for you. I'm not saying it's not going to work for you. I'm saying I'll, I'll just speak what I know from my own personal experience, what has worked for me. Yeah, fast food's really bad. Um... Then why do protein shakes five times a day and two and two raw eggs? Yeah, yeah, I think you'll definitely lose weight that way, Snipes. Hardcore Snipes? Yeah, that is hardcore. I don't think you're going to be very happy, though. Um, I like being happy. That's why I don't eat diet food. I just eat what I want, just within moderation. Because I tried eating diet food, and I was miserable. Miserable. So, like, for example, tomorrow I'm going to have a steak dinner. It's going to be a delicious, juicy, fatty, delicious steak. <laughs> I'm going to get mashed potatoes with it, but I'm not going to put bacon in the mashed potatoes. I'm not going to put a bunch of cheese in it. I'm not going to have a big portion of it. You know, you can eat what you want. You hate the McDonald's water, yuck. Fast foods, like said, is poison for you. When are you going to do Elmo thing, lol? Oh, uh, you know what, Russ? Actually, I forgot about doing the Elmo thing. I haven't even thought about it since we talked about it last. Maybe that's something I should look into. It's a good idea, buddy. That's a really good idea. Um, I'm going to have to get um, a video cam, though, because I was looking around for my camera a couple weeks ago, and it's just gone. I don't know if I threw it away. I don't know if the cats hit it because they hide stuff from me. I don't know. I I'll have to look around. But I was seriously looking for it. But if I'm going to do Elmo... I'm Elmo! Elmo, I'm Elmo, yay! Um, I gotta have a cam so that people could see Elmo on cam, right? Just makes sense. Uh, no gain body mass and to build the muscles up. Calypso says, every time I have it afterwards, I'm in agony. And most days I'm in agony. I'm used to it, but still rather not have it. Russ says, six people watching, but only three likes. Oh no! Well, 20 people have checked me out. 20 people have been in and out of the stream today, so that's cool. Uh, Zumi says, I have to go adult meow. Bye, everyone. Bye, Zumi. Have a good day. I hope everything goes well for you.
Les Jones says you can get an app that turns your phone into a webcam. That's cool. I don't want to do that though. I want to do it on my computer because I'm gonna I'm gonna do this on Omegle. It just seems like Omegle is the best place to do it. And I am emulating Kermit the Frog, so it's what works for him. So I'm gonna see if it works for me. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do some of what he does, but with Elmo. But it's not a it's not a, a mean move. It's actually a respect move because man, I respect what he does. He's funny. He deserves it. Ooh, that hill looks a little sharp right there. Hold on. I gotta do something about that. That's too sharp right there. It's not gonna be able to plant right there. I'm glad I saw that. Let's fix it before we hop over it. And it just looks bad. Yeah, Dom, paying attention. It's about time. Landscaping. Um, let's even this out. Yeah, that was way too high. Look at it. You can see how high it is from here. That was almost a mistake. Look at Dom learning. That's right, he can be taught. Mr. Aladdin, sir, make a wish or two or three. I'm in the mood to help you, dude. You ain't never had a friend like me. Can your friends do this? Can your friends do that? Can your friends pull a rabbit right out of their hats? There we go. I think that smooths it out. Yeah, I can still see it smoothing a little bit as we go. The bird's coming to check it out. I'll smooth you out, bird. I'll smooth you out. You like that? It stopped. It's like, wait, why are you trying to smooth me out? I'm a bird. Zoomy, see you on stream. Ooh, ooh. Rush Judge says, yeah, I think it works for PC. Peggy says, so the healthiest food is in a box of sun-made raisins because it's 90 calories. The only thing raisins now. They cause most stuff is added with other things, which is sad. Snipe says, I can send you a brand new top-of-the-line cam and a green screen. My treat. You need to do a peel back, peel box. Oh my gosh. Let me, okay, hold on. Um, that is a really nice offer. You do not have to do that. Um, wow, that's a huge offer. Um, I would definitely not say no to that because that's stuff I would need. But let me tell you about my green screen ordeal. Okay, um, I tried to green screen. I tried, okay? I tried to do all the cheap green screen stuff because I just couldn't afford a real green screen, you know? I can't find a good one in a price range that I could do. So I tried to be cheap about it. Let me tell you the disaster that happened for me trying to be cheap. Let me tell you what, what unfolded, okay? So first off, first off, I bought green curtains or a green sheet, I mean. And in my chair, behind my chair, I hung the curtains from the ceiling. It didn't work, obviously. It was crinkly, and it just didn't look right. So then I tried to uh, staple the curtain to the floor and hang it from the ceiling. So it's hanging from the ceiling and then stapled to the floor, so it's flat, right? I actually did pretty good. It didn't work. It was not the right color. There was enough. You could just see the edge, and just to me, it looked bad. So now I had a curtain stapled to my ceiling and to my floor with a space behind it, kind of like medieval times, and you can walk behind a tapestry kind of thing going on. So that had to go. <laughs> it just made my room small, my living room smaller, by the way. So it was a horrible idea. So then I got the bright idea. Hey, the wall behind me is white. Let's paint the wall behind me green. It's flat. I can make my own green screen out of a painted wall. So I went out and I bought a can of green paint and I painted the wall behind my chair green. It looked so bad. It to this day still looks so bad because I still haven't painted over it again. More than that, a green screen and a green wall are two different things. It doesn't pick up the green screen properly because it's a wall that reflects light, not cloth that absorbs it. So that worked even worse than the curtains did. So then my genius self saw that, hey, there's an option to reverse green screen, which means you use a black screen. You just can't wear black clothing because it'll act like a green screen. So I'm like, well, you can't go wrong with black. So I painted over the green with black spray paint because I didn't have any black paint, but I had a can of black spray paint in my garage. So <laughs> I'm in my living room painting black spray paint out of a can onto a badly painted green wall. 
and uh, that didn't work out so well. So now, when you come into my living room, the first thing you see is curtains hanging from the ceiling, because I didn't take them down yet. I should just pull them down. I don't know why I haven't. But curtain, two green curtains hanging from the ceiling, and they're tied up, so they hang up on the ceiling. They just look horrible, kind of like an indoor awning. And then a white wall with a big half green, half black square on it, and the square was spray painted, so it's not even brush stroked. It's just like lines almost that are like actually okay looking. And then some drips of paint where, it, where I sprayed too much in one spot and the drips went down the wall. So you guys want to see? You guys want to see this? I'll show you. I don't care. I'm not embarrassed. I am, but I don't care. I'll show you guys this horrendous thing. So yeah, Snipes, if, if you wanted to help, I would accept help because apparently I need it. <laughs> Let me show you how much I need it. Let me show you guys this disaster that Dom thought he was being smart and, and was not smart at all. Let's see if I can get as much in the picture as I can. There we go. Check out my wall behind my chair. I just put it in Discord. Yeah, that, that, that's the mess that I made and still haven't cleaned up yet. And on top of my sofa, there's a heating blanket and then my kitty towel, or my kitty blanket. They like to curl up right there next to the window. Uh, you should probably upload this as a shorts video. It would probably get a lot of views. What do you mean a shorts video? Aren't those like only like 20 seconds long? It looks nice. Do you think that looks nice? I do not think it looks nice, but thank you. That's nice of you. I don't think it looks nice. I think it looks horrible. Even my M&M &M blanket covering my windows so that way in the daytime it's dark. It's kind of dark in here because I don't like... When the, when the light shines through the window, it, it puts a glare on my TV and on my computer. So um, somebody from the church, because I was going to church, somebody from the church made me that as a present, and I use it to cover my window so it doesn't put a glare on my TV. When you when you painted it, oh yeah, yeah, it's pretty bad. It's pretty. I know it's bad, you guys. I know it's bad. You're not gonna, you're not gonna con convince me otherwise. I know it's bad. But every time I walk in my living room, I, I'm like, man, I'm such an idiot. Why haven't I painted over this yet? Why haven't I taken those curtains down? What's wrong with me? All right, so let's get this last row done, then we'll have the corn planted. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty decent. So what we're going to do for the next few days on stream, guys, is we're going to do an hour and a half of farming and an hour and a half of medieval times. We're going to do it for a few days, okay? We're going to do it Thursday, Friday, maybe Saturday and Sunday, so that way I can have weekend to look at it. And I'm going to look at the numbers and see what the numbers are for both of these for those days. Also this week, excuse me, hiccup. Also this weekend, we're going to do, I think, a Will It Waffle stream. Because I got a really nice idea I want to do for Will It Waffle. Kind of like a celebration, too, because I hit my target weight that I was trying to get down to. And so now I feel I can eat a little bit extra. So I'm going to do a Will It Waffle this weekend and eat also. So you guys definitely want to be around for this weekend. Are you drunk or is that picture confusing? confusing? What picture are you talking about? What picture are you talking about, my friend? Okay, so all the corn is planted, and now it needs to be rolled. Because if you don't roll the corn, it will not grow. Whoa, it, this is the next stage. Look, it's the next stage. Look at how high this is. This is our barley. Look, our barley is getting tall. I didn't even realize. Look how tall our barley is. That's cool. It's growing really nice. Wow. Is our wheat any taller? No, I think our wheat is the same. No, this is barley too. They're both barley, but look, this barley's smaller and this barley barley's taller. Why? 
It's the same crop. But this one's farther along for some reason. <laughs> That's interesting. It seems like it should be a clown house. Thanks, Calypso. Appreciate it. Uh, the one you sent in your Discord, your eyes are playing tricks on myself. No, it's my living room. <laughs> it's my horribly, horribly done living room that's not fixed. I think the zombies are scared of you. I think you broke the game. It sounds like it. it sounds like you are a terror to the zombies. I like it. Good job. Okay, there's the seeds. Now we gotta go get a roller. And we gotta go roll this field. Let's go put these seeds away first. Put them with the other ones. But to be fair, that's like the only part of my house that looks bad. The rest of my house looks pretty freaking awesome. By the way, you know you aren't sure Socks hates or likes your singing. I have the same problem with your bunny. Aww. I think animals like music, though, so your bunny probably likes your singing. If they're responding to it, that's usually a good thing. Alright, let's return this uh, planter and go get ourselves a roller. So you painted the wall green, right? Bear with me, Dom. Okay, I'm bearing with you. Uh, let's go check on our corn, since we're over here anyway. Not our corn, our grapes. She licks the ground sometimes when I touch her in certain spots, and sometimes she'll lick the woods. Yeah, um, cats and rabbits have those really, really rough tongues with the really rough uh, sensations on it. So they like to lick stuff that gives their tongue sensations. So that makes perfect sense. Oh, it just got dark quick. So we're going to have to check out the, uh, the grapes in the morning. They're not floating. They're, they're, um, I, um, screwed hooks into the ceiling. And the curtains are hanging by the hooks. When your cat likes to lick you, that's cute and also annoying at the same time. I get it. Because it's so sh like rough, their tongue is like being licked by sandpaper. Yeah, it's sleep a day. So yeah, the grapes are growing. The grapes are actually growing. That was pretty quick. Look at this. That's nice. I think this needs mulch, don't it? Do we gotta get a mulcher now? I mean, they're growing, so it's not gonna stop, which is nice, even if we don't mulch, but it doesn't say we need to mulch. Pretty sure we need to mulch. Let's head back and get a roller, and then we might have to get a mulcher too. Wait, we have a mulcher, right? I mulched already and it didn't do nothing. Isn't that right? Or did I get a plow, not a mulcher? There's a big difference. I think that's a plow. Wait, let's let's see really fast. Let's go down just a little bit and see if this does anything. No, it's not doing nothing. What do we have? Let's go in a great technology. So it's none of these. Might be this. It's a mulcher. This might be what we need. 
We have this one, right? That's what we have on the right now, it is. That's a subsoiler. I think we gotta buy this. I think we gotta buy a mulcher. Let's buy this. Alright, and then let's um, get a roller. Because the corn won't grow without a roller, remember. I'm thinking we might want to buy a roller. They're not very expensive. Six point four, six point four, six, three. I would buy this one. No, I'd buy this one. It's cheaper. It's huge. I don't need that. That's more like what we need right here. So this would cost 17 grand. This one's 20. I, I don't have enough, I only got seven grand. So we can't get none of them. Let's, uh, let's rent this one. And then if we like it, we'll buy it. $725, we can rent that for 725. All right, so let's see. First thing we're going to do is we're going to drop this here and we're going to go pick up the other one and then we're going to see if it works. Uh, wait, what are you guys saying? Um, sorry I missed check. I, just, I didn't know you guys were talking so much. Uh, do, do the fences just come with the grapes? Well, I put down the fences and then the grapes grow on the fences. So remember a couple days ago we spent all that time putting these fences down and then the grapes grew between the fences. There was no grapes yesterday. It was just fences. Alright, this is bad. I, I thought I could drive down this row, but apparently it's gonna be a little bit difficult. It's bumpy. It's real bumpy. Look how the tractor's bouncing all over the place. Oh gosh. I'm trying to keep the wheel straight, but uh, it's just the, the ground is so bumpy. Oh no. We're gonna flip over. Okay, we're good. Oh, this is going to be a nightmare when I have to do this whole field. I can't even drive it when I'm not doing nothing. See how it's bouncing? It's awkward. Alright, let's take this down to the shop. Oh, meat darling, smoke break. <laughs> Meat's been real quiet today. I hope Meat Tech's still here. Uh, that's hurt my brain, and the brain cells I have are gone now. Oh my. By the way, Snipes, better get used to me asking. I'm already loving the birdie. Aw. Bunny, my fish died. Can y'all ask my twin his pet? Bunny, my fish dead, y'all. Can ask my twin his pet? Clipso, that, that hurt my brain a little bit. I don't know what you're trying to say. What pets do everyone have? Oh, Russ is asking what pets everyone has. I got two cats and fish. Don, what do you think about the stuff my bunny does? Not the licking thing, but the one above with the great question. Uh, your bunny also sticks poop on her feet. Yep, you heard me right. She does that, she'll clean. Uh, if she does that, I'll clean her, and she'll do it again. It's a pain to get it off. I don't want to rip any fur. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know why she does that. Um, you could fix that, though. I know I, I've heard of that problem with rabbits before. In her cage, you have to get something called chicken wire, and you got to put chicken wire on the bottom of the cage so she walks on the chicken wire, and uh, she'll get used to it. It won't hurt her or nothing, but when she walks or when she poops, the poop will go between the wire, the chicken wire, and it'll land in the bottom catch, so she won't be able to walk in it because she'll poop and it'll go right through the chicken wire. So you got to get the thin chicken wire. It's like real tiny squares, so the, it's small enough for the or big enough for the poop to fall through but not her feet. Oh, uh, then you got the wrong size then. Because if she's pooping and she's still able to step in it, then you're doing something wrong. Either the wire has to be higher above the poop when it falls to the ground or to the catch, or the holes are the wrong size. It, it's, it's, 
Because if she poops and it drops straight down and then through the mesh, there's no way she can get to it in time to step in it. But I have to put stuff because it can hurt her actually, so yeah. Well yeah, that just means you have to use a different size chicken wire. There's there's a million different sizes. You just gotta find the right size. Like her poop is probably about the same size every time she poops. Rabbit pellets are usually about the you know, a normal normal size. So you'd find what whatever size her poop is. And then you'd find the chicken wire that is just a little bit bigger than her poop. And that's the kind you gotta replace it with. Looks like a storm's coming in the game. Look at that clouds rolling in. That looks kind of pretty, though. You're here just focusing on Destiny 2? That's cool. Are you going to start streaming it? Clipsa says, but she has two spots in a corner to poo with no hay on top. But she won't do it. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Clipso. I missed my me I missed my message. He's doing fine. Clipso still tweets when I come into my room. He loves the heat lamps. Same one I used for my snake when he was alive. Clipso says lol, lol, l o l, lol, lol. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna start streaming, didn't you say, Meat Sack? You said you're getting the equipment and everything ready and everything right. How's that been working out for you? If you didn't stream at the same time as me like other people do, I would watch you. Uh, did you see the pictures, Dom? Yeah, I did see the picture. I replied. I replied back to you. I said, "Oh, that's a cute little nugget. You get it? I called your bird a nugget, like a little chicken nugget. <laughs> but it's little, so it looks like a chicken nugget. <laughs> it's a good nickname for a baby bird, Nugget. <laughs> Let's have a snow smoke break, Snipes. You need it? Destiny kicking your butt, or is it just a big grind today for you? I really do love how relaxed this farming game is. Like, I'm just sitting back in my chair while I'm playing this and talking to you guys, and I feel like really just relaxed. It's nice. It got more relaxed when I stopped multitasking, because remember how much multitasking I was doing? Uh, the chicken wire itself can run against your feet, causing problems in her nails and bleed a lot because there's a small part where they bleed where you cut it. Yeah, there's actually chicken wire made for rabbits to stop that. Snipe to meat, you got any pets? Wild Dom, did you see the... Wild Dom, did you see the pick meat? Yeah, they actually make chicken wire for that clip, so... So that way it doesn't hurt them. It's a thing. So this is not cutting the grass. Oh, it's not turned on. You know, I, I learned that um, generally if you want machinery to work, it helps to turn it on. Let's see if this changes things up a little bit. Oh, it's turning. I can see it turning. So maybe this is what I needed to do. This might have to be tomorrow's stream where we just take care of the... Oh, yeah. Yep. That is what we need to do. I can see a huge difference already. So tomorrow we're going to have to take care of the grapes. For sure. Yep, this is what we're doing tomorrow. I can see a huge difference. I know you guys can too. You should look it up. Yeah, Clipsa, look it up. Rabbit's got little sensitive feet, little sensitive putters. Their little getaway, their little getaway sticks are quite fragile.
It's funny because it doesn't tell me that I need to do this, but you can see that you need to do it. It'll increase the yield. It'll just look better, too. Okay, we're going to go down one more row, and then we're going to go take the roller back down to our field. Yep, look at that huge difference. Man, I am glad I decided to check. It looks so much better after doing this too, by the way. It does it just doesn't look good with all that grass growing and all those weeds growing in the way. It looks weird. This is kind of nice. I, I like being able to see the immediate change. If I hit something there, I don't know why it bounced like that. The land should be flat. Yeah, that oh, I got some of it. Some of it just won't go. That's weird. I rode over it twice and it didn't go away. Whatever. I'll just whatever it. Yep. So that's our plan for tomorrow. This has to get done if we want our grapes to grow well. Look at the big difference in the grass. You can just see. Holy cow. I'm really glad I checked, because that would have been a huge mistake to not do this. But we got to get the corn planted. That's more important. we got to get the corn done. So this will be tomorrow. Well, corn will be tomorrow, too, because we're almost out of time. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and leave that there so we remember tomorrow that that has to be done. Yeah, look at the difference. <laughs> it's a pretty stark contrast. And that, that should also fertilize them too because all the grass in the ground, it works as fertilizer. Um, Let's see, she also eats bedding hay that tastes bad, not her good hay, I think that means a little brain damage. Well, they do have a little teeny tiny brain, so it makes sense. <laughs> um, when it was back in the day, I definitely would smoke a few joints and jam to the live stream. Really, to my live stream? That's cool. Uh, if you don't want to say it on stream, just say so, Snipes. Uh, Cliff says, also my bunny has a problem where she's probably not adopted anyway because a few years ago she says, the flesh is going to be a small part of the eyes if I didn't see it because it wasn't so bad, but aw, it's gotten worse. Poor bunny. Poor little cute little bunny. Uh, Sign Keeper says, I'm going to take a break from grinding. Lol, time to play some guitar and then bass. Nice, Sign Keeper, nice. Globe says, but she doesn't care, so I don't know what the vet could do, and she's old, so yeah. I'm going to be a vet after school, or a writer, or a equestrian writer, yay. You can do all three of those. There's no reason you couldn't do all three of them if you wanted. All right, let's go pick up the roller. Even from here, look at the difference. <laughs> yeah, that needs to be done. That's all. That's gonna be a lot of work, but we'll do it. We gotta get it done. Let's go pick up the roller now, so that the corn can be finished. This is a big tractor. This thing is massive. Gotta roll the corn. Remember when I planted like a whole giant field of sunflowers and I didn't know that you had to roll it so the sunflowers never grew and I couldn't figure out why? I was getting so angry. Why won't these dang things grow? I've done everything! But apparently, I didn't do everything because I didn't roll it. <laughs> it's just all these little stuff you don't know until you know, you know? I've never played a farming sim before. I didn't know that stuff like that was how it is. And it doesn't tell you. You just gotta figure it out as you go. Uh, Clip says, yeah, I'll at least do one and a rider, and if I choose the vet, I'll have a horse at least. Yeah, you could definitely do all that.
But I was also respectful of the people around me, so I won't go into the farm field when I lived at home. That's cool. I'm sure most people wouldn't care, but I mean, that's cool that you're respectful about it, just in case. By the way, if you want snipes, you can be the Uncle Snipes for my bunny. She'll be happy then. Aww. By the way, nice field, dummy. It's all full of weeds. How about I drive in circles on your weeds? Can't get out here and do it yourself? Too lazy? There's probably a contract to do this, but I'm not doing it. Do it yourself. Lazy? I'm taking care of a bunch of fields right now. I got time for all your guys' ugly fields. This one, too. I'll do donuts in your field, too. That's right. I do donuts in your field. You got, oh, look at this. I'm doing donuts. You like that? Oh, too bad. You got a crap field. I've got good fields. I do donuts in yours. You must be cops because you like all these donuts. Right, let's go pick up that roller. I'm excited, man. This is the last step that we have to do, I think, until all of our crops are in the ground, planted, and just waiting to be harvested. I think this is the last step. Except for the um, grapes, of course, because we gotta do a bunch of grape stuff. Oops, oops, sorry, my bad, my bad. I'm only renting it, it doesn't matter. If it breaks, it breaks. I'll, I'll turn it back in. Broken. It ain't mine. Alright, let's get this down to the cornfield. Now there's no cars coming. Let's see what it looks like unfolded. Oh yeah, it's nice. Just a cute little roller. It's not bad at all. What that does is it takes the, the rows I've planted of corn and it covers up all the rows. I think there should be a roller on the back of a planter. Because you're planting, why have a separate machine? Why not just have a roller attached to the back of your planter? So as it plants, it rolls it right away. You know, doesn't that make any sense? Why would you need two machines for the same job? You put a roller at the back of the planter, so it, 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 you drive, drops the seeds in, and then rolls it up right behind it. Uh, I'm using that joke, Dom. Oh, the donut joke? <laughs> I make a lot of jokes, so sometimes I have to ask which one you're talking about. Sometimes they're funny. Sometimes I just like to think they're funny. <laughs> My jokes are like a face that's pretty enough for radio. You know it's there. You just don't know if you should laugh. Uh, yeah, definitely Clip, so I'd be honored to be your bunny uncle, but I'm afraid that rabbits, guinea pigs, and hamsters. Oh, you're afraid of them? Aw. Alright, let's see what this looks like doing one row of this. Yeah, this is even a machine that you got to turn on. So that there's no reason that uh, there can't be a roller on the back of a planter. It's just a machine that it just, it just rolls. That's all it does, it just rolls. So this definitely should uh, be attached to the back of a planter. It's basically just weights that push the dirt over on the, whole, on the openings. It looks real nice though, I like how that looks. Very even. Even Stevens. Don't worry, my bunny's chill. Unless you give her a treat, then she's a monster. <laughs> uh, come on, just get that last little bit. Ugh. Got it. I had to write up a poll to do it, but I got it. I should probably edge this too, to be fair. Let's do two edging. I'm I'm out of time. Uh, we only got like four minutes left in the stream, so. And then I'm gonna play medieval. Medi medieval something. It's just fun. <laughs> so let's edge, and then we're gonna say our goodbyes. There we go, just like that. Yeah, 
don't know how I'm gonna get this through here. Maybe if I go this way with it. Might be able to hit this corner just barely. There we go. Alright, and then we'll go down this way, but I don't need to roll it. And then we will edge it this way also. Calypso, are you going to the next stream? I hope so. I hope Calypso's here for the next stream. Got it. Let's turn this around. Turn it around town! That's right, Patrick, go around! There we go, I think I can hit this just like that, and then just like this. Uh, what if I don't join the next stream? Well, that would be sad. You, you probably have to, don't you? Don't you have to? Ain't that your thing? Ain't you a part of this community? Yeah, I'll be there, Snipes, will you? Hashtag don't mess with me. Sign you must join the other stream. go down one more row and then it will stop for the day yeah not gonna miss it nice we've been handcuffed sign remember do it hurt me I already deserve to die I appreciate you too much to hurt you my friend even if you want it sorry All right, that looks good. Yeah, let's go ahead and stop here. I think that's ready. Tomorrow we can just come in and uh, finish this field off. And then we'll have our corn growing. And then we'll start on our uh, grape uh, mowing, getting all the weeds out of the grapes. So we'll just stop this right here so that we remember what we were doing. Because Dom does forget sometimes, because Dom is dummy. But this will remind me that this is what we were doing. There we go, that looks good right there. Oh, it looks nice though, don't it? All nice and rolled and ready to become corn. Oh, John says, bye everyone. Okay, yeah. So guys, this is where we're going to end the stream. Uh, I want to take a second and say thank you guys for being here. I do appreciate it. It was lonely at the beginning. It was just me and Calypso for a while, and then everybody else showed up. So thank you guys for being here. I, I do appreciate it a lot. Uh, you guys are why I stream. Uh, like I keep saying, I will continue to play these games even if I don't stream. I really enjoy these games. I enjoy playing. So you guys being here just motivates me to stream for you. So that way you can actually see me playing the games. We can talk and hang out together. Um, and even if you guys like DM each other, you guys talk in private, at least when you guys see each other here in stream, you guys can all talk together and hang out together and you get to see and talk to people you haven't streamed before. So it's kind of like an interactive chat room almost. And uh, if we can get more people, that would be great. But I really appreciate you guys who are here. So thank you very much for that. Uh, this is going to be the end of the stream. I will be back after a very short break. So that way we can play some of the medieval game. Thank you guys for watching Domination Green Channel. Again, thank you. And I will see all of you 
awesome people in just a few minutes. Alright, bye guys! Tee -hee.